Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 9. And it came to pass when Shalomah had finished the building of Eth the house of Yahuwah, and Eth the king's house, and Eth all Shalomah's desire which he was pleased to do, that Yahuwah appeared to El Shalomah the second time, as he had appeared unto him at Givon. And Yahuwah said unto him, I have heard at your prayer and at your supplication that you have made before me. I have hallowed this house which you have built to put my name there forever, and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. And if you will walk before me as David your father walked in integrity of heart and in uprightness to do according to all that I have commanded you, and will guard my statutes and my judgments. Then I will establish at the throne of your kingdom upon Yashadael forever, as I promised to David your father, saying, There shall not fail you a man upon the throne of Yashadael. But if ye shall at all turn from following me, ye or your children, and will not guard my commandments and my statutes which I have set before you, but go and serve other Elohim and worship them, then will I cut off Eth Yashedael out of the land which I have given them, and Eth this house which I have hallowed for my name will I cast out of my sight. And Yashedael shall be a proverb and a byword among all people. And at this house, which is high, everyone that passes by it shall be astonished and shall hiss. And they shall say, Why has Yahuwah done thus unto this land and to this house? And they shall answer, Because they forsook at Yahuwah Elohim, who brought forth at their fathers, out of the land of Mitzrayim, and have taken hold upon other Elohim, and have worshipped them, and served them. Therefore has Yahuwah brought upon them all this, rather, brought upon them eth all this evil. And it came to pass at the door of twenty years, when Shalomah had built eth the two houses, eth the house of Yahuwah, and at the king's house. Now Hiram, the king of Sor, had furnished at Shalomah with cedar trees, and fir trees, and with gold, according to all his desire, that then king Shalomah gave Hiram twenty cities in the land of Galil. And Hiram came out of Sor to see at the cities which Shalomah had given him, and they pleased him not. And he said, What cities are these which you have given me, my brother? And he called them the land of Kuval unto this day. And Hiram sent to the king six score talents of gold. And this is the reason of the Lavi, which king Shalomah raised for to build at the house of Yahuwah, and at his own house, and at Milo, and at the wall of Yerushalayim, and at Chatzor, and at Megiddo, and at Gezer. For Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, had gone up, and taken at Gezer, and burnt it with fire, and slain at the Canaanim that dwelt in the city and given it for a present unto his daughter, Shalomah's woman. And Shalomah built Eth Gezer, and Eth Beit Choran, the nether, and Eth Baal Ath, and Eth Tadmor, in the wilderness, in the land, and Eth all the cities of store that Shalomah had, and Eth cities for his chariots, and at cities for his horsemen, and at that which Shalomah 
desired to build in Yashalu, rather, Yerushalayim, and in Lebanon, and in all the land of his dominion. And all the people that were left of the Amorim, Chitim, Perazim, Chivim, and Yevasim, which were not of the children of Yashadael. Their children that were left after them in the land, whom the children of Yashadael also were not able utterly to destroy, upon those did Shalamah levy a tribute of bond service unto this day. But of the children of Yashadael did Shalomah make no bondmen, but they were men of war, and his servants, and his princes, and his captains, and rulers of his chariots, and his horsemen. These were the chief of the officers that were over Shalomah's work, 550, which bore rule over the people that wrought in the work. But Pharaoh's daughter came up out of the city of David unto her house which Shalomah had built for her. Then did he build Athmilo. And three times in a year did Shalomah offer burnt offerings and peace offerings upon the altar which he built unto Yahweh. And he burnt incense upon the altar that was before Yahweh. So he finished at the house. And King Shalomah made a navy of ships in Etzian Gever, which is beside Eth Elilath, on the shore of the Red Sea, in the land of Edom. And Chivram sent in the navy at his servants, shipmen that had knowledge of the sea, with the servants of Shalomah. And they came to Ophir and fetched from thence gold, four hundred and twenty talents, and brought it to King Shalomah.